How's it going? In this video I'll be teaching you how to install Laravel on Ubuntu Server 14 or 16. So we'll start off by updating our apt repository by saying sudo apt get update, press enter. Next we need to install Apache 2. sudo apt get install Apache 2, press enter, press y, enter. Next we need to change the user and group that Apache actually runs as. So first off, we'll find out our username by typing in echo, dollar sign, user, all in caps, and press enter. As we can see here, for me, my username is dom, so keep that in mind. Uh, next, we'll actually edit the nvars file of Apache 2. We can say sudo nano etc apache2 nvars. And go down to the line where it says export apache run user, and change this value to your username. For me it was DOM and same for the group. So we'll say DOM. Then we'll say Control X, Y, Enter. Next we'll need to change the permissions for the Apache public directory. So we can just say sudo change own uh, once again your username so DOM, DOM and var HTML minus R. Press Enter. That's done. Next, we can enable the Apache 2 rewrite module. Now, this is useful for Laravel, um, particularly for the roots. And say Apache 2 nmod rewrite. There we go. Next, we'll need to allow uh, HT access files to be run inside the public directory of Apache. So we can just say uh, sudo nano etc Apache 2, and we'll edit the default configuration file with that line right there. Press enter. And on the bottom, we'll just make a new directive, and we can just say directory uh, var HTML. And in here, we can just say allow override all. Allow override all. There we go. Once again, press Control X, Y, Enter. Next, we'll need to restart Apache. So sudo service Apache 2 restart. Next we'll install PHP so we can start by adding a repository we can say sudo apt add repository ppa on dredge php press enter here just press enter again and then update once again so sudo apt get update. We will now install PHP 7 the so sudo apt get install PHP 7.0, press enter, yes. Now we'll need to install some PHP uh, extensions that Laravel depends on. So those are XML, MB string, zip and SQLite. So we'll say sudo apt get install PHP 7.0 dash XML space PHP 7.0 dash MB string PHP 7.0 dash zip and SQLite just like so. Now SQLite isn't required I don't believe but it is useful for you if you want to just get started with databases in your application. So we'll press enter. Y. We need to also install git. So sudo apt get install git. Just like that. Next we'll install composer. So Laravel uses composer to manage its dependencies. So we'll need that to actually get the Laravel installer. So we can navigate to the temp directory of our system, cd forward slash temp. Here we can actually download Composer. So we can say wget, uh, this link right here, getcomposer.org forward slash composer dot far. Press enter, it'll download that. And we'll just move Composer to the bin directory of our system. So we can say sudo mv composer dot far then forward slash bin composer. Just like that. Press enter. That's done. Next we'll need to make Composer executable. So we can say sudo change mod 755 forward slash bin composer. Just like that. Now we can type in Composer global require composer, sorry, Laravel installer. Press enter. 
Alright, so now we'll need to edit the .profile file in our home directory. So sudo nano curly .profile. And on the bottom here, we'll just type in export path equals dollar sign path colon forward slash home your username. So for me, it was dom. Uh, dot config composer vendor bin control x y press enter that's done now we we'll actually need to restart our server so for me I'm just going to type in sudo shutdown minus r now press enter and that's it Laravel is installed now we can actually navigate to the uh, public directory of Apache we can say cd var html and here we can just type in Laravel new sample application for example so that's your uh, application name just here press enter and it will start to actually make the Laravel application so this will take a while to actually complete but this is a one-time thing so next time you make an application it'll just load from the cache and uh, yeah, it'll be really quick but for now this might take about two three minutes so that's all done now if you want to actually see your application in the browser uh, within VirtualBox, go into your instance settings and go down to the network section. Under the advanced tab, press on port forwarding and add a new rule for Apache. So we'll call this rule Apache. And for the host IP, we'll use 127.0.0.1. For the host port, anything you like. I'll be using port 9080. And for the guest IP, this will most likely be 10.0.2.15. This is the IP address of your Ubuntu instance. So I'm pretty sure by default it's 10.0.2.15. And for the guest port, you would use port 80. Press OK and OK once again. Now bring up Chrome and enter in this address. It will be localhost port 9080 or whichever port you chose earlier. And then it will be forward slash your application name. In my example, I said Laravel new sample application. So that's why that works. And then forward slash public. And there you go, Laravel is now installed. You can go ahead and start making your own application or, you know, start messing around.